Hi, I'm Dennis Emmanuel. I'm a fashion stylist and I just thought I would take some time to tell you a bit more about my fashion styling course at Nottingham Trent University. I've been a stylist for around 10 years now, working in fashion. Um, I started off as a designer, um, set up my own business with a friend from university and we had a streetwear label which we ran together in London for about five years. He got into film and I followed him a couple of years later. While he trained as a lighting technician, I ended up training as a uh, costume designer. So I started working in film and then got into television. Then the kind of loop uh, found its way around to the other side and I found myself back in styling, uh, working with brands, working with magazines, and working with musicians, um, sort of styling different assignments. Um, and then a few years ago, I moved to Nottingham, got connected with uh, Nottingham Trent University, and I've been teaching the course. Um, this will be the second year that we're running um, the styling course this year. So the course really is to take you from a place of a relative novice all the way to a point where you are ready to actually go out there and start working as a stylist, whether that's out on your own as a freelancer or to get hired by a styling studio, whether that's with the brand, whether that is with the photographer, or whether that is you assisting um, a key stylist, an established stylist, um, whether you want to work with them as a, as a styling assistant. But it basically walks you from scratch in terms of understanding exactly what the stylist job is, right the way to a point where, where you are practically piecing together uh, a photo shoot, styling a real model, with a professional photographer and producing a piece of work that's market ready. So it's to walk you through that journey. Um, the great thing about this course is that everything I teach, everything that I put into this course comes from experience. So um, it's not like I went to university and did a degree in styling, I actually went out there and did it. So not only will you get understand the theoretical side of what's required to be a stylist, how to piece looks together, how to tell stories, how to use referencing, how to do research, but you also understand how to actually have a career, what it, what it, what's required to actually build a career, to actually run your own business if you want to be a freelance stylist, but also how to under have commercial awareness and business savvy, which is essential even if you're going to go out there and work for a particular company as an employed stylist or a studio stylist. You need to understand how things will link from creativity and a piece of artwork to actually a commercial product that we're going to charge money for and that's going to serve customers. So the course, again, it's, uh, it's not all theory, it's not all me standing in front of you teaching you um, uh, each hour, rather it is practical. So there'll be group assignments, you'll be working with your uh, fellow delegates uh, and I'll be giving you assignments, um, you'll be using your smartphone to run your own mini photo shoots, you'll be using various mediums to practice storytelling. So storytelling is really the, it's the meat and bones of a stylist job. That's all we do really is storytelling using our creative voices. Everything you do as a stylist is storytelling. If you are styling a, a, a commercial for Sainsbury's, for example, you may not be styling uh, Gigi Hadid, you're not styling a fashion model, you may be styling an everyday actress or an actor. But in that, your clothes need to tell a story that's going to blend into the overall narrative of the, of, of the, uh, of the commercial. So uh, you can use almost anything to tell a story. When you were kids and you used to do, um, get a bit of crayon or you'd get toys, uh, you started telling a story about you know goodies and baddies or cowboys and Indians or drawing a favorite cartoon character. And it was all in the story and you want to kind of revisit that kind of childhood imagination as a stylist. You want to be very playful with your ideas and then understand how you can uh, perceive that and weave that into a story. Sort of like an artist in a painting, you know, the more you look at the painting, the more you can kind of di dig into understanding what they're trying to say. And that's really what we do. That's where we get hired. That's the value that we bring as a stylist. Um, to to the commercial world. We tell stories, but we just use clothes. Instead of right words, we use clothes. Um, it's also, we will also walk through the basics of styling a human being, so things like color, color balances, 
uh, color theory. We'll look at body types and body shapes and how to style a model, how to understand what a body shape is and how to style around it, how to accentuate certain things, how to hide certain things. We'll look at practical skills like wardrobe skills. So um, these will range from how to look after very expensive clothes for a photo shoot to how you would do wardrobe for a musician who's going out on an award night. Things like, you know, if they're going to be stuck out in a red carpet and it starts raining that night, how do you make sure that they're looked after when the ground is wet? How do you make sure that your client is looked after when it's hot and sweaty? How do you make the clothes, make sure that the clothes behave themselves and do what they're supposed to do in the heat or in the cold or whatever? All those things are what great stylists, celebrity stylists, fashion stylists know, and I'll be teaching you those skills. I'll be teaching you how to build a styling kit, uh, all the industry secrets that all the great stylists know of how to what to do for each thing, all the great hacks um, that you will learn um, and believe me you when you're working with um, a high profile individual and you do one of these hacks they'll look at you like a superhero they'll be like oh my god that is amazing those are the type of things I'll be, I'll be teaching in terms of practical skills it's really important also as a stylist again it goes back to storytelling that you really understand the theory of fashion storytelling and that comes from understanding your history all the great stylists, um, contemporary stylists, have a way of referencing things that have happened in the past and weave that into their work in a contemporary way. Um, whether that's looking back at old Hollywood or whether that's looking back at um, indigenous cultures from around the world, uh, take extrapol extrapolating maybe the way they used to wear a robe and using that way to tie a robe for a catwalk that you're doing. All those things are really, really important. Uh, assets in, uh, in a, a stylist army. So you'll be learning about history of fashion styling. I'll be encouraging you to do research into um, cultures and histories that interest you and see if you can tie those into your storytelling. And then we'll learn commercial things like how to set up and uh, set, up, set yourself up as self-employed, where to go to find work, how to find work, how to approach magazines, how to approach stylists, how to approach studio stylists, who to contact, um, what you can expect to earn as a stylist um, at the different levels from um, sort of beginner assistant to all the way to a key top stylist and, and consultant, um, and how to uh, build a network, a powerful network. Um, it's a very relationship-based industry fashion um, and entertainment, um, so you need to be good at building relationships and know how to forge partnerships with key people, people like PR companies who are your bread and butter, they are your best friends. So I'll be giving you a list of contacts and also how to kind of get in there with the PR firms, um, how to get, um, how to approach talent agencies so that you can get access to celebrities. Um, all those kind of ways of how to weave yourself into the industry and actually begin to build a career for yourself is what you can take away from this. So it, it's not only just a lot of people think fashion styling is just giving people nice dresses and telling them what color to wear and what shoes to wear, but it's so much more than that. You are an actual really important person in the marketing mix of a particular business, whether that's a PR firm or a brand or a design house. The stylist is really, really key at making sure that the whole business is a success. You're a vitally important person in the industry, so you need to be savvy as well as creative. So that's a little snapshot into what I'll be covering for this course. I hope that um, excites you. Um, please do go ahead and sign up. I look forward to uh, getting started with you guys. Let me know um, in the comments or fire me an email if you, have, if you have any more questions or any more things that you'd like to find out about the course. Otherwise, yeah, thank you so much to NTU um, for having me on board to teach this course. And uh, I look forward to working with you guys soon. Okay, ciao, peace.